So real quick before we start today's video, I want to announce to you guys that I'm hosting a cruise on June 13th, this upcoming Saturday, for my birthday. I know I said I've been wanting to do a cruise for a while, and uh, my birthday is literally this Saturday. So I felt like it will be a perfect day to like host a cruise and a little meetup for you guys. Only thing is, is I don't know much spots in LA to stop at. So throughout the cruise, I plan on doing like multiple locations and kind of like pit stops where we can stop and have people meet us there and join in on the cruise just so everybody knows like where we're at at the moment so yeah if you're from LA and you know like any good low-key spots to like stop at be sure to hit me down in the comment section below and let me know um, I'm actually just like trying to piece everything together right now so I can post like a flyer on Instagram but yeah real quick I just wanted to update you guys on the cruise for the birthday uh, I'm so excited I literally cannot wait to see how it turns out cannot wait to see all you guys there be sure to follow my Instagram I'll probably post more stuff and information on my story as the days go by I'm so excited we're finally gonna do this but yeah without further ado let's get into today's video Have a uh, number three combo, uh, large please, uh, Coke. <laughs> Look what we have here. So we got two FRSs that are boosted. These are the owners right here. Really wanted to come check out their cars because as you guys probably know, I've been dying to boost my car. I've been like trying to see if I want to go turbo or supercharger. So he has the Edelbrock. Is he Jackson? Jackson, right? Yeah. Damn. Dude, that's freaking goals. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so this car here is his right here. So pretty much like real quick, what do you have on the car? Uh, as far as power and like external mods. The main thing is just the, the Jackson Racing Kit, um, the FT86, um, unequal length, catted header, okay. unequal uh, length. the N1 exhaust that everybody has. Nice, and, nice. Uh, like, little for the wing. I love the white on white. I always, I'm, I'm such a huge fan of white wheels. Yeah. Like obviously since my car has white wheels as well, but. It's, it's a pain to keep them clean. It's yeah, clean dude, that's true, that. yeah. Back when I was stock white, I was actually like looking into these wheels. I actually really like them. We got the Autobot kit with uh, 700 cc injectors. Nice. Uh, their fuel pump. I'm tuned from Delicious. They gave me like four maps, so I have like my daily, my uh, race map. They said crackles and pops. Same shit you guys. Sick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I got JDL catalyst headers. Uh, 1320 performance dual resonator pump pipe. Uh, Corsa cap back. Bypass with a muffler, so it could be like loud as shit when I want it or. Oh, so you have like a like a valve exhaust? Mm -hmm. Oh, sick. Yeah. Damn, that's probably expensive, huh? No, it's like 80 bucks on it. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, damn. You can have it between like the muffler or the cat, whatever you want. Yeah. Damn, that's yeah. pretty cool. I don't know, guys. I've been contemplating for so long now. Supercharger, or turbo. I'm looking at the Edelbrock kit. I'm not too familiar with the Jackson one though, and maybe you guys will actually convince me to go supercharger because so I've actually been looking into a turbo kit. I've been talking to the guy a lot recently about, but I actually really want to feel what a supercharger would feel like. So maybe these guys will actually convince me today. Who knows? On 330, 185. 330. Nice. Yes. It just kind of like pulls, you know, like a turbo or anything. Yeah. Like, it'll be NA, NA, and get that jerk. Yeah. This kit is just all the way. All, yeah. All Jeez. Way.
so nice to just pop my hood and just have a fat one of these sitting right here. <laughs> oh, it's literally goals. I've been saying it so much, like, that is literally all I'm missing with my car. It's just either turbo or supercharger. Ooh, that's a nice WRX. All I'm missing, like, I've been, oh, man, I just want, I just need power so bad. I literally just can't stop looking at this. You couldn't splice it somewhere else? Flex fuel, injectors. And then I just put the, the whole oh man, I was actually thinking of doing this to my headlights. I was really really debating on doing this when I was opening up my stock ones for the demonized But I honestly didn't feel like waiting for them to be shipped so I didn't do it uh, But I really wanted to do this for a turn signal Because um, these things are like sequential right here, which is really cool And since I have the v3 bumper, I don't have any turn signal whatsoever It's usually with an frs bumper. It has one like right here, but obviously with this one. There's nothing there so on the fronts, I've been running no turn signal, which sucks, but I need to find an alternative. Two superchargers. It's a lot of money. I always love gas station shoots or just like pulling up to the gas station with a whole bunch of cars. You know what's better than our gas station shoots? 7 Eleven photos. 7 Eleven yeah, in the front? Yeah, yeah. Really at night. It's so different. I'm not used to driving an uh, auto. I tried to put my foot down for the clutch. Oh, you did. <laughs> oh, man. Well, the auto is so different. 
I know. Alright, so this one is 330 horsepower. So that's like over 100 from stock. Flex fuel 85, all the good stuff. Pretty much my setup if I were to go supercharger. Edel Brock, delicious tuning, injectors, fuel pump, all that. I seriously cannot wait to boost this car. It's gonna make this car completely different. Feeling the difference between that and stock, like I need it. <laughs> I need it so bad. It's gonna be dope. Once it's boosted, I'm gonna let like my girlfriend drive the car. Uh, I'm gonna get like people's reactions, like my mom and stuff. Uh, I've been wanting to actually get my mom to drive the car before I boost it, um, and then I'll let her drive it after I boost it. So I've been wanting to get her in the videos, but she's like kind of scared to drive my car because it's so modified. But that's something I definitely want to do sometime soon. I feel like it'd be so funny. It was really nice getting my hands on the feel of a supercharger. One, because I can, you know, feel it before I spend a lot of money on it. Um, get like some experience to actually know what it, my car is going to feel like. And two, it's literally like the same setup I would run if I had the supercharger on the car. So like E85, flex fuel, injectors, all that good stuff. Oh man, this just like got me thinking like, it's such a hard decision. Should I go supercharger or should I just go turbo? I don't know.